What's that? Oh, sorry. Do you hear your voice back a little? A little bit. I think it's a little better, right? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Hi. What are you, some kind of big showrunner or something? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you right now. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you guys, I mean, you know what? I could sit here and bitch about it, but I can't be as tired as you guys. I'm so sorry. There's no way. I mean, how many days have you been here? Four, so since far. Wednesday. Yeah. I mean, since four. Thursday, but I would die if I had to do this show. Yeah. I mean, this is my job. Well, we admire what you're currently doing. You like it? Yeah, I like mine too. So. <laughs> Are you nervous maybe about viewers tuning into Secret Circle and thinking, oh, it's just been a lot of family members? Because well, it has so many connections. Well, it does have so many connections. I think the, the key word is that we can just let people know it's a companion piece. And it's not so much a spin-off, but it's two separate worlds. That's kind of my biggest thing, is I do worry. That, and I do, you know, the other thing I worry about, which is just me being insecure and paranoid, is that people will tune to start the show and compare it to the beginning of the third season of Vampire Diaries, which is going a mile a minute. <laughs> Whereas if you go back to the first season of Vampire Diaries, you'll remember it. It told a story. And it, it, it took a while to sort of suck you in, and then, and that's what we're trying to do here. And, and, and it does have, I wouldn't say there's a slow pace, but we, we spend time getting to our characters and dealing the relationships and understanding what they want and what they desire and what witchcraft is. And then right around the time you think it's this, then this happens and the whole world turns upside down. It's, you know, it's another fun show. In, con in, in translating the books to the series, like you've done with Vampire Diaries really well, are you I mean, are you going to approach it kind of the same kind of manner? Are you going to just take with what works in the books and kind of rewrite your own story? Thank you. <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay, so, uh, and, and write your own story, or um, are you going to try to include a lot more stuff from the books? Well, you know, it, it really, uh, you know, it, it, if, if it works, yes. It's one of those things where, like you said it best, if it works, do it if it doesn't no okay. and I think that's what's going to happen here is is, is we're going to start to um, um, we're going to try but I think when you can, when you take a series of books and you have to redesign them for our TV suddenly you're, I change this and this and then I get then I add to it because I get an idea and I go what about this or what about this and you know it's like I'm a writer I don't want to just like translate I want it's like the whole reason you hire me is for me to bring whatever's going on in here and I and here and I try to do it and I just I want, it's no fun for me I can't personalize it I have to personalize it like I do with Vampire Diaries I have to personalize it so that I can cry over it and so Julie and I sit there and cry as we write and you know this is the same thing you know? How are you juggling it too? Because they're in Atlanta and this is Vancouver. Vancouver, Atlanta. Well, I, with funny, I, well, both right, both offices are in the same building at in LA. <laughs> we have like Vampire Diaries up front, in the back you got Secret Circle, and upstairs you have uh, Post and Twitter. So I, so it's, I just get to go boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know it's fun right now, but the, the, the way it is, the way it works is Vampire Diaries comes first. And the Secret Circle is a show. That's a, that's my bread and butter in terms of my baby. It's the one I, I still buy it. And so, Secret Circle has been designed to be run by Andrew Miller. And he's the guy who was there before I ever showed up. He's the guy who's there now. And I just check in with him. I help him. I go into the writer's room. I play. And then I leave. And I go back to the Empire. The magic seems really seductive, and so are we going to see kind of maybe Cassie seems really good. Can she be tempted, or will we have always one good character? That, well. Know? I, th I think, you know what, there is. I think there should be a moral compass. And yeah. what I really love about making um, characters is, is I, I want my heroes to be flawed, and I want my my villains to be understood. <laughs> Whether you agree to agree with them or not, you understand why they're doing what they're doing. And you can and you can almost empathize with them, or you can sympathize with them, or you can have some sort of compassion for them. And that to me always works the best, you know? It's like, I feel like in Vampire Prince, Uncle John was such a hated character. But I knew if I could just do it right, I could turn, I could make you at least by the time he died, you would go, 
Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of that's going to happen with this. You're going to understand Natasha Dantridge. You're going to see her be a wonderful mother. You're going to see her be a great principal. You're going to see her be a wonderful... Yeah, okay. And say, he's a lawyer. You know, and he's an outstanding person in this town. He loves his daughter. He loves her more than anything. And there's a, and the mythology goes deep. Do you know, Kevin, how much has changed in uh, television in the series from the time that you have working in this and uh, not to the time of Dawson's Creek and would, uh, would a show like Dawson's Creek work right now? You know, no, I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't know. I think I, I think an original, unique scene show will work. Dawson's Creek will not because Dawson's Creek has come and gone. You can't just read. You know, that's the whole, that's the whole game. It's like you know, the whole reason I I wrote the screen at the time was because no one was making the horror movie I wanted to see. You know, we we're in a different place now. We had had the 80s slasher flag. We had to have something else. We had to have some sort of wise awareness about it. And so Dawson's Creek now has become that old show. It's that old 90s show. You know, and, and even though it went to 2000 and whatever, well, that's over now, too. It's like it's two decades. A decade. And I'm in 15, so I don't know. Vampire Diaries. <laughs> However, I have not aged a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire Diaries and Secret Circle have such different types of love stories involved. What was your favorite part in this process in developing Secret Circle? Like, what did you enjoy the most in, in shaping this series so far? Well, the thing that's hard for me is I want witchcraft. Because I, I, you know, the witchcraft in, in Vampire Dars has been so, like, you know, Donnie's always been on this sort of learning, learning curve. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a witch, but how do I do it? Here you have witches. It's a whole, there's several. I want it to be scary. So to me, that's always the challenge. You know, it's like, how do you make witchcraft scary? How, you know, and then when you really start digging into it, and you look into, like, the occult, Rosemary's Baby, Devil Worship, Voodoo, and all that Haitian, like, creepy voodoo stuff. I mean, it's really scary. But if you take that and you get your own, mm -hmm. and they call it the Witchcraft of the Secret Circle, mm -hmm. you've got a really scary, scary, sort of rich Bible of, uh, of, of evil. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you have the good. Have you done research as, I mean, are you incorporating real witchcraft in there? Is it real, all mostly real, your own? Real, 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 we're, trying, we're doing everything. You know, we've got real, the, we, we've got the Wiccans, the old Bibles, we've got, like, we've got all sorts of really sort of interesting, there's so many different types. But we're sort of like designing it to be our own fit, to what works for us. Because I did a movie, like, I produced this film, a little scene film for good reason, called Venom. And it's, I wouldn't encourage anyone to go read it, however. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, I went down to Louisiana to film it, and I got deep into voodoo. And that, you know, the milking ceremonies with snakes, and it was just creepy. All get out. And I think if we could just take some of that and flavor it in a way, which is Wiccan or, or, or sort of like an evil Wiccan witchcraft or something just really taboo. And I don't know, I think, I think there's a way to make witchcraft really super scary, as well as it is magical and lovely and fun and amazing. Because there's all those storylines too, so I feel like you get to do both. It's in which, if you do it right, it can be epic, be good news. I feel like all your projects are known for, you are great with casting your heart. What was it about Brett that made you think, like, she's my girl? Well, Life Unexpected got cancelled, <laughs> is, is, is what happened. Because, you know, Britt is someone who I've known, because I know Liz Tegler really well, and I've always been watching her show, and I was sort of had my eye on her. And then when we were casting Scream 4, I remember going, yo, Wes, this girl, she's on Life Unexpected. So they brought her in, and they were really considering her for a bigger role, but her Life Unexpected schedule wouldn't let that happen. So she had to, like, all she, you know, she did have to I think she's a little new piece. And, and... But when this came around, I was like, oh, this is going to be a good But then I heard that the network had somebody else in, they had their own person in mind, and it, they, they were totally like this. It turned out when I said, who is it? They go, Chris Robertson. She was on a show of ours. And I didn't know. I'm like, wait, that's what I'm talking about. I, was, I thought there was going to be a problem. And you always have, but everyone's been on the same page. And then when I found Thomas Tepper was available, I went to, um, you know, Warner Brothers. I had to work with him on John Connor and Sarah, uh, Sarah Connor. And um, they loved it. And so it was a matter of just having the audition. Was <laughs> well, last question, guys. Sorry. What? Would there be a screen five? Oh, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I've got Bob and Harvey. I'm not involved with the project. Do you have a story in mind? 
Um, I, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to answer this for four questions, I'm sorry. I, okay, I, do you have any a, film projects going on? Or are you I, just you know, what, this, I'm doing this this year, this, because I want to really focus on making this as good as it can be. And, and 